Hi everyone, let's begin F test. F test we have to know because when we are going to apply independent T test, so we have to decide whether variance is equal or variance is unequal. Let me just show you how we have to decide. Data analysis tool pack and here is you can see T test, T test two sample assuming equal variance and t test two sample assuming unequal variance. So for this purpose also, we must know whether the variance are equal or variance are unequal as well as we are going to test here is f test two sample for variance. But how we have to know, uh, let me take one very simple case study you can see here. A uh, study was conducted to compare the efficiency of the workers of two mines, one with private ownership and the other with government ownership. The researcher was of the view that there is no significant difference in their efficiency levels. So total tonnage of the mineral mined by a worker in one ship was chosen as the criteria. So assess his efficiency. So there are 20 workers from the private sector and here is I have taken in my example again 20 workers from government owned mines were selected rather than 24. Here is in this example have taken 24 but I have taken equal size 2024, 2020 from each ownership and was selected in their average output per shift was recorded. You can see one I had given for the this private ownership and two I had given for the government ownership. So total I have taken only 40 examples, 40, 40 data, right? So what we have to do, you can see here, I had already copied this data. This is the private ownership output in tons, that is same, right? This is the 20 and government ownership output in tons. So now we just want to know F test. We want to apply F test. So for this purpose, first of all, we have to know what is the variance. To know the variance, so what we have to do, I'm just deleting all these values. So now you can see here is I'm just deleting these values. So what we have to do, variance equal to equal sign and simply we have to type variance dot S rather than P, P stands for VAR dot P, P stands for population and VAR dot S means sample. So VAR S sample we will select and what we have to do, we will select this data, data and bracket closed and we will press enter. Now you can see variance for this sample is 31.36. And same thing what we have to do, we have to drag this. So same formula is copied here. Now you can see 8.61. That is the variance of this data, right? So that means we just want to check. That is that is that is uh, reflecting over here. Variance are not equal, right? So here is uh, how we are going to test F statistics. First of all, we have to know what is the count. Count is simply, I mean, total count is, total number is, I think I have taken only 19. Yeah, total 19 data, not 20. So 19 data I have taken. So count simply how we have to know this count. Let me tell you. Equal sign, simply I am going to use count and I would select this count function and after that I am going to select this data. And uh, then I would press, you can see bracket closed and I would press enter. So this is 90 and same thing I will drag it. So that means count of this data also. Now, what we have to do, you can see here F test and F test. I'm just showing you what is the formula of this F test. Simply you can see. Right, F test here is larger the sample variance divided by smaller sample variance. So we can see which one is the larger. This one is the larger variance and this one is the smaller variance. So what we have to do simply we will put the values over here. Now you can see here. You can see here I would press equal sign. This is the larger variance and divided by 
this and I would press enter. So now you can see these are the F statistics 3.639077. Now what we have to do, we want to calculate F, F value. So for this purpose, what is the table value, critical value? This is the, this is our calculated value. So what is the F critical value means stable value. We want to know. So for this purpose, we need degree of freedom. Degree of freedom, as we know, what is the formula of degree of freedom? You can see here degree of freedom N minus 1. Degree of freedom, that means N minus 1. So degree of freedom, when total count is 19, how we are going to calculate degree of freedom? Simply we will press equal sign, this 19 minus 1. So when we have to press enter 18 and simply this formula we have to drag it. So here is also 18. A moment we will know degree of freedom and minus 1. So what we have to do, we will have the table, table, table. And in this value, we have to find out how we have to find out. You can see here DF1. DF1 means on this, on this, on this side, we have to take numerator, right? Numerator, uh, you can see numerator, you can see numerator degree of freedom on this side, we will select and denominator degree of freedom, we will take this side. So what we have to do, both these values are degree of freedoms are 80. Right, so 18, that would be somewhere in between the 15 to 20. And here is the, on 18, we can say that is the 18 and somewhere is, would be in between. Right, here is. So that would be, you can see 1.88 and after that, that is 1.83, 1.83. So that means, that means that is on the 18, that would be somewhere is 1.8. 1.85 so 1.85 that is our simply i i just want to show you here is our critical value our critical value critical value is our 1.85 which one is larger we, this is our calculated value. This is our table value. And we can, we will say table value, table value is greater than calculated value. Calculated value, calculated value. So that means if there is two hypotheses, let me show you. This is my null hypothesis. And what is a null hypothesis? There is there is simply i'm going to take null hypothesis there is no difference no difference in the output in the output owned by output owned by owned by owned by private and government private and government Right. That was our null hypothesis, but alternate hypothesis said, yes, there is significant difference. Alternate hypothesis said, there is significant difference, significant difference, difference in the output of, output of private and private and government organization and government owned funds mines right so here is when we are going to accept null hypothesis and when we are going to accept alternate hypothesis you can see table value when it is greater than calculated value so what will happen what will happen null hypothesis will be accepted null hypothesis accepted but vice versa, when this table value is less than, table value is not greater than, right? Table value is, here is, I'm just pressing less than calculated value, then alternate hypothesis is accepted. We can say alternate hypothesis is accepted. So now you can see in my case, in my example, 
that is clearly here now table value is less than calculated value that means alternate hypothesis is accepted that means there is a lot of difference right a lot of variance is there a lot of difference in the output of government and private but on the other side suppose we want to check through data analysis tool pack so simply we have to go there and f test statistics press ok and now we will select these numbers right range one means there is the higher side right numerator so numerator is higher variance is this right and variable two that means lower variance so government own that was the lower variance and after that labels we not sorry labels we have not selected let me clean this data I'm just clearing this data because I just want to select labels also. So what we have to do here is that means we will take this data also, right? And in this label two, this is the data labels we had selected and output I want. What could be the output range? Let me select this. Sorry. Let me select variable once again because I had pressed this right. So now I output I want to take this output here. So let me press OK. So now you can see whether we have to check through this method we had calculated both the numbers are same. Now critical value you can see 2.217. So let me check 2.2 critical value 2.217 and critical value I think that is from our uh, this uh, table value and table value we have to check and here is you can see f is f statistics exactly same 3.63 and 3.63 right that is exactly same so we will check all those things right 3.63 and 3. .3. i think table value we have to find out through uh, table and uh, in this case that is clearly defined this is the table value is less than our calculated value that is why we are accepting alternate hypothesis so i hope this video would be helpful to you uh, so keep watching thank you